<clears throat> God bless you, global Christian friends, Americans around the world. Truly, we give God the honor, the glory, and the praise. This is what Jesus is all about. Having power over all the power of the enemy, Luke 10, 19. Being the light of the world, Matthew 5, 14. Being the salt of the earth, Matthew 5, 13. Being of a kindred nature, John 8, 12. Matthew 5, 48, <clears throat> and a host of other things that Jesus is all about. The knowledge of God and from God, we've said, is not just about heaven and earth, but it is also knowledge beyond heaven <clears throat> and earth and knowledge of other than the heaven and the earth, whose kindred nature, nature have not shown to exist to mankind. These are things you need to know. Hold on to the words of Jesus for the last days of this world. Matthew 24, 35, John 6, 39, and 40. <clears throat> We're going to begin looking at the book of Luke. And uh, this book, Luke, written from Philippi, place he lodged. Some say that it was written in Rome with the Apostle Paul. But we know that he was with him on many occasions, the book of Acts, and that uh, <clears throat> He, uh, according to Jerome and Eusebius, he was from Antioch. And this is why it's important to understand why he wrote the book of Acts and the Gospel of Luke. Uh, <clears throat> To Theophilus. Theophilus was the bishop of Antioch. Now, of course, now we know that Luke eventually had a home in Philippi, and that there is <clears throat> an epithet of Luke uh, that he passed away in Boeotia. B O E A T I A. Epithet, he served the Lord without distraction, having neither wife nor children. And at the age of Polycarp, 84, he fell asleep in Borsha. There's a lot to know and to learn. We're not going to get into all the history about the knowledge you need to know about Luke. A lot of that, both known and a lot of it unknown, but we won't get into that. We'll just get into uh, the old name for Luke is Kata Lucan, Greek According to Luke, the way that it was in Cato for Matthew, which means according to Matthew. And uh, the reason being is that because there were many 
writings of Jesus at the time of the writing of Luke and at the time of the writing of Matthew. Matthew means a gift from the Lord. Luke means uh, as David did in the Hebrew. Uh, you know the meaning of David in the Hebrew? Same for Luke in the Greek. <clears throat> uh, as the epistle to the Romans was called the most profound book ever written, The book of Luke is called the most beautiful book ever written. And we need to understand those kinds of things coming from uh, history and the way that the Lord caused these things to be known and given to us. There's a lot to be said about Luke. We're not going to get into all that history about it. Tremendous amount of history about everything. But we'll look at uh, the beginning of the Gospel of Luke to Theophilus, who was the bishop of Antioch, according to Jerome and Eusebius. Luke was of Antioch. And it makes good sense for him to write to someone who was a bishop of Antioch at that point. Now, For as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us. Even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were our witnesses and ministers of the word. There's that word again, Hashem, comes in, Hashem. Look at verse 40, uh, verse 4 again, uh, verse 1, many have taken in hand, many have taken in hand, which is why they distinguish themselves, both Luke and Matthew, to say the, Luke, the writings of Luke and the writings of Matthew, because many had taken in hand in order to uh, write the thing. That's, as a matter of fact, uh, John also said that many was written. And uh, out there across the history, and uh, you find that there are all kind of gospels out there. The Gospel of Thomas, the Gospel of Peter, the Gospel of Mary Magdalene, all kinds of gospels that are there. But we're looking at the one that you have that you can base your faith on mostly and that's in the King James Bible. It seemed good to me also, Luke said, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first. Now we understand how and why perfect understanding does exist. So you who don't uh, teach and preach perfection you're telling them that they are not perfect in their understanding, which is why they cannot basically understand. We will continue this later on. God bless you, the American government and people. <clears throat>